Good afternoon, everybody. Today on our fun calendar, it is National Biographer's Day. And Dietrich did a biography today. And so he's gonna quickly share that with you and then I'll tell you a little bit more about this day and the other things we've learned. Kate K. Rowling says I live for the books. She also studied at Exeter University. She wrote Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone at a coffee shop with her son David. And she never gave up when the publishers turned her down. And she was also the first billionaire author. So how many publishers turned her down? Twelve. And she became a what now? The first billionaire That's author. pretty awesome, isn't it? Bye-bye. Okay, so we learned today about not giving up, not quitting, no matter who rejects you. But I wanted to also tell you a little bit about Biographer's Day before I get too far into uh, my other topic. So it's the anniversary of the meeting of Samuel Johnson and his biographer, James Boswell. Um, however, bi biographies actually date back um, to the time of the Roman Empire. So the first record of this kind of historical journal was found um, in 44 BC about Cornelius Nepos. Um, he wrote an extensive biography over the most famous generals of the Roman and Romans and Greeks. So, you know, this dates back to 44 BC. And of course, if you um, know your Bible, you know that it dates back even further than that because um, by then there were um, copies of the Torah and things like that as well. So, the story um, of why we call it Biographer's Day is whenever Samuel Johnson met his biographer, and that happened in 1791. Uh, Samuel Johnson is famous because he wrote the first um, dictionary that all the others were formed after. And um, Johnson... That his biography that James Boswell wrote became the standard for how biographies would be written in the future. So, but what we got from what we researched today was how important it is not to give up. So, maybe you're going through a really hard time um, with anything, whether it's your business, something in your personal life, something with your family, but the important thing is to not give up. And if J.K. Rowling can become a billionaire after being on welfare and writing her first book in a coffee shop and being rejected 12 times. Certainly you can overcome whatever obstacle is in your way. If you would like to hear some other stories of people who overcame obstacles and never gave up, I've got a list of those that I would love to send you. You can reach out to me, shoot me a message, and I am happy to share what I learned today on Biographer's Day. Thanks everyone. Bye.